emphasize things like sin and the weight of it, the burden that it is, that it separates them from God and they can't be close to God because of their sin. Emphasize Jesus and that he is the what reconnects us to God, that what he did on the cross is what saves us from our sins. These are key things that you need to emphasize in order to really give an accurate representation of the gospel. So as you see, I've written down Romans 6.23 on this piece of paper. What you would do with the person you're with is do the same thing. You'd write it down. You'd be talking to them. You'd be asking them questions. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to circle. We're going to draw some emphasis on th some things and try to help them conclude what this verse is really trying to say. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. First, let's circle wages, and we're going to discuss what are wages. When you ask the person you're with what wages are, most of the time they'll answer, it's what you earn, it's what you deserve, it's what you're paid. Next, sin. It's important to draw out the weight of what sin is. Right now, they would be telling you what sins are. You're going to ask them what it is. They'll say things like lying or adultery. But really, the importance of circling and drawing this out is that explaining to them the gravity behind what sin is that it separates them from the holy creator of the universe that without jesus they do not have the opportunity of being with christ next emphasize death it's important when you emphasize death that they understand it's not a physical death it's the spiritual death the spiritual death of going to hell so when you ask them to describe what death is they might say hell or if they're mature, they might even say separation from God. If the sentence would have stopped here, we would be hopeless. Because it says the wages of sin is death. It's clear. Our sin has earned us and received a payment of death. The key thing to notice here, though, is the but right after, which gives hope. So let's draw out the importance of gift. What is a gift? A gift would be described as it's given. Something that doesn't always come out is that a gift has to be accepted. And remember that we have to accept the gift that God gave us in Jesus Christ. Next, circle God. Draw out some key characteristics of him. That he's loving. That he's forgiving. That he's gracious. Circle eternal life. Eternal life is an important aspect of our faith. People will respond that it's heaven, but I think it's important to respond that it's being with God. It's the joy of being in God's presence. Circle Christ Jesus. This is a huge emphasis. He is the main, the emphasis of the entire gospel. He's what saves us from our sins. And remember that he connects us back to God. Emphasize Lord. Most people don't even know what Lord means. So if you ask them what Lord means, they might not even know what to say. But a Lord is a ruler. He's a leader. And understand when you accept Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior, he is now the ruler of your life and he leads you to follow God in everything you do. So when you're drawing this out for someone, draw out two cliffs, draw out the verse at the top, and when you're asking them questions, you'd put wages and death on the left side as you're doing it. And then you put sin at the bottom into the pit. And you put gift, eternal life on the right. You then draw yourselves on the left side. You see that you're on the left cliff. And you draw God on the right. And you see that the importance of that is that you're separated from God. And there seems to be no way over to him because you can't get over that cliff. And right now, because you can't get to God, you're hopeless. You're in the first stage of the verse. Remember the but. It's important to remember that, so we can give them hope. But draw out the first part of the verse for them. They earned sin. They deserve death. And death is hell. Again, draw emphasis on but, because Jesus has saved us. Jesus 
acts as the middleman to get us to God. What he has done has saved us. He has built the bridge for us to cross the gap where our sin and torment would have deserved us of death. All we have to do now is accept this gift that Jesus has given us so that we can be with God in heaven.